Hello, my friend. How are you? Um, let's have a look really quickly how to run a uh, dependent symbols t-test, also called a paired symbols t-test. But really quickly, just reminding what the test actually is, um, is a test that compares two groups of means. Um, and when you have the same participants in both groups. So let's assume that a company wants to uh, compare the perception of consumers towards their brand and a competitor brand, for example. And then they measure one, measure the other one with the same people, and they want to know if the difference between the perception is statistically significant. Or, for example, if a company has one particular product and they're developing a new product, and they want to know if statistically people consider the new product to be better than the current version that they have. Okay, and you have the same people in both groups. So really quickly, how to run this test, just go here in the top menu on Analyze, scroll down to Compare Means, and then you scroll down to Paired Samples T-Test, okay? Excuse me. So click there on Paired Samples T-Test. This window pops up. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag here to the paired variables, the two variables that we want to compare. Now, the example that I'm doing in this... Uh, SPSS um, table here you can also download it from from music stats and so you can try out this exact um, example that I'm doing here okay to make sure that you're on the right track so I'm going to compare here the frequency of listening to music while doing physical exercise with the frequency of listening to music while in the car this is a, uh, a study that we did a while ago to try and understand how people listen to music in different contexts, like for example, contexts with more or less physical effort, more or less uh, cognitive effort, okay? So I'm gonna drag here to, uh, to the other side, the frequency of listening to music while doing physical exercise, and I'm gonna drag here to the other side, the frequency of listening to music while in the car. So both variables here are paired. All of the options are default, you can just leave them as they are, click on OK, and this is the, um, the output that we get. Now, the first table that we, uh, that we should analyze here is our descriptive statistics. We have here the two variables that we're measuring, frequency of listening to music while doing physical exercise and in the car, and the mean or the average. Now, we measured everything here on a five-point Likert scale, so ranging from one, never listening to music on that context, to five, <clears throat> listening very frequently to music on that context. So the first thing for you to interpret, always in your studies, is where the average is in relation to the scale that you measured. So if I measure on a five-point scale that five is very frequently, the higher the average, more the, high, the more frequent people listen to music in that particular con uh, context. So if in both factors here, the average is beyond, is above uh, four, that means that my first interpretation is that people listen to music very frequently in both of these contexts, when doing exercise and also when in a car. Uh, N is our sample size, so we have over 300 people here on both groups. It also gives us a correlation table, but that's not uh, relevant for us. And then the t-test, which is the bottom table. On the t-test, the most important thing for us here to interpret, if there's a difference between the two groups, is the significance value, which is this final value here. And as you should remember from, I don't know, discussing with your supervisor or statistics classes or marketing classes, the threshold is, uh, or our p-value is... Uh, 0 0.05 that means the maximum amount that we allow of randomness in our test is 5% so we only assume that there is a difference between both groups if our p-value is under 0 0.05 if our value is above 0 0.05 um, that means that we cannot assume that there is a statistical difference between both groups our value here is uh, 0, 0.00 which is clearly under 0 0.05 so uh, we can assume that there is a difference uh, between both groups, okay? And considering that the average of frequency of listening to music in the car is higher than the frequency of listening to music while doing physical exercise, we can conclude that statistically people listen to more music while in the car than when doing uh, physical exercise, okay? So this is how you... Uh, run and how this is how you should interpret a dependent samples t-test also called a paired samples t-test Don't forget to uh, download the guide the statistics guide from music stats. I also detail there how to report the results from uh, 
from your t-test results and yeah that's it so all the best in life and um drink coffee